Today has been about leveraging your strengths and turning them into a lucrative career. Well, no one has done it better than my cousin, one-time housewife, then two-time best-selling author and anal retentive personal organizer, Cousin Meryl. Meryl, <laughs> welcome. Thank you. You are one of the most organized people I know, but you somehow found a way to turn it into a business. Now, how did you do it? I did. I was knew that I was completely organized. I was at a friend's house one weekend, organized the entire kitchen. Her husband came home. I said, Stephen, look what I did here. He said, you know what? You could turn this into a business. Wow. Light bulb went off. I'm going to start my own company. Call it Let's Get Organized. There and here go. you are today. Yeah. And you wrote these two amazing best-selling books, which is available on Amazon.com. So, now, do you think that you can organize me? I mean... Totally. What? Are you organized, cousin? I don't... I, th I consider myself organized, yes. Okay. You know what? I would love to, like, take a look at your handbag. My do handbag? handbag? You mean my own personal pocketbook? Totally. Yeah. Ah! Is it here? Do we have it? Do I we have friends do a drawer or something? Okay, come on out. Come on out. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is my purse. Wait a second. Do we, do we have a scale? <laughs> do we have a scale? Now, wait a minute, because <laughs> I didn't know this. So this is really, really, what was oh. it? And oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. Let's see. But, <laughs> How much do you think this weighs? Let me feel it. Uh, 15 pounds. Okay, let's see. Cap it first, no. Oh. It says four pounds. It says four. Okay, All right, we'll put let's, it on yeah. so we'll know it's four okay, or let's over. See. And now it doesn't say anything. <laughs> okay, wait. The miracle. Hey, wait, we'll put it on the floor. Maybe it okay. likes to be on the floor. And then if we step on it. It has to go to zero. Okay, okay now here we go. It's at zero. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, we're like all looking at eleven point two pounds. Eleven point two pounds. Okay, so I was close, but you know what, what the is thing is? In here. I don't know. Let's see. Oh. But you know, I was coming to work, so uh, you know, I, I think I have stuff in there that I might not ordinarily carry. A pair of Uggs. <laughs> we need these well, every that's, day. No, we don't need that every day. But that, you know, when I lobby in Washington, I usually have okay. to carry my okay. Uggs. All right. Okay. And okay. when okay. I'm going from the set to the dressing room. The nanny. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I see somebody who loves me very okay. much, and I like to give it to them. She always has everything in here. Everything. I always have everything, and people Sw make fun of me. But meanwhile, when they need nice. something. Uh, Fran, that's the Fran Brand okay, Skin Care. That's good. Yeah, that's the moisturizer. It happens to be excellent. And we didn't make this one in the small size, so what am I going to do? But you know, Cozy, really, do you really mm. need to be carrying around all of this? All of the, All right, your wallet, that's My a good wallet, thing. Yes. All right, the glasses we need. Glasses. I got to read, don't I? Look, I got condoms in But here. look at this. Look what's going on in here. I should see right, if they're expired. Go. Let me see. Oh, we want to get rid of everything that's expired. No, these are still good. They're still good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look at this. They're what is this? Good. What is this okay, going on? Okay, that I don't need. That I don't need. I must have gotten that on a plane or something. I can't believe but, you know, you when I'm on a plane, I'm always afraid if I'm going to, you know, crash in the Andes. I want to have something to eat. You know what I'm thinking? I'm yeah, I don't thinking. need this either. I'm okay. thinking you have so many small little things in here that we need to get you some and kind of bag. Alto, so we could put strong it Alto. Alto. <laughs> I, I, you know, this is just makes yeah. me happy. Okay, <laughs> then that's good. Then that's good. Let's keep it. <laughs> Do we need this? Well, this my sunglasses comes in. Okay. I don't know where the sunglasses she has an excuse is. Excuse for everything. I know. And this, I like to put my hair into a scrunchie if it gets it, too windy. Do we need two, two brushes? I know. Do we need two? They do two different functions, though. Okay. You stop telling you. Uh, <laughs> so, what do you suggest that we do? 
First of all, we have to pare down. You don't really need all these things, but I think that we and need to get duplicates. You're saying stay away we, from all right, this stuff. We don't need duplicates. We need to pare down. And what I would think the three point is that you can give the viewers at home and our audience here that they can a criteria by which they can determine if they're you know uh, disorganized or putting too much in one space. Well, first of all, the first thing you need to do is surround yourself with everything that you love. That's really important. That makes you feel really good right the next thing is you don't want to have too much you just don't need to do duplicates like you were saying True. so that's important and the other thing is is when you're starting to get organized you don't everybody gets really overwhelmed so what you want to do is you want to start small and start from there what's going to happen is once you organize that small space or that bag and it's you get rid of the clutter and it's going to start to make you f it feels so good when you get rid of the clutter that's what's going to give you the incentive to move on to the next phase all right isn't it's that great <laughs> so <laughs> Coming up next, my old friend, my Fran band, and a performance you will not want to miss. 